Hello viewers. So ever since Virgin made the announcement back in 2014 that they would be getting into the cruise business, we have been waiting patiently or impatiently for details, waving our money, begging them to take it, and wow us like only Virgin does. Well today, May 18, 2018, four years later, we got a look at what Virgin has in mind. So what was revealed? So we're expecting three ships to start, with the first debuting in 2020, calling Miami its home. It will accommodate 2,700 passengers and 1,150 crew members for sailings to the Caribbean. Where in the Caribbean is still unknown. Virgin's VP of Product Design has said, With careful thought, humor, and attention to detail, the Creative Collective has designed a ship that's styled for those thirsty for a wonderfully modern holiday at sea. And frankly, I'm not exactly sure what that means, having sailed on some of the latest Royal Caribbean ships. I consider those to be quite modern. Well, actually, I'm not sure about that. The ships that we've been on, the, the design has been pretty cheesy and kind of Las Vegas-y and old-fashioned. So you're looking forward to seeing this ship for real? Oh yeah, definitely. I'll admit though, these renderings of the deck do look pretty impressive and uh, different from what we've seen in other ships. So the ship is described as adult by design, meaning it's intended for adults only, 18 and over. So don't expect to see play areas, water slides, and some of those other attractions in the latest ships by Carnival and Royal Caribbean. CEO Tom McAlpin also said the version ships will be smaller than most to provide a more personal and intimate experience for our sailors. End quote. So I guess this will be the new ship to make friends on? I think you're already making a lot of friends with your YouTube channel. But these are renderings of the Manor Club, which I believe are supposed to be an after-dinner cocktail club where you can go for that after-dinner drink, you can go for dancing, or even live performances. Oh, and look at this. Designer Tom Dixon said, There was this romance to cruising that I think has partially vanished. I mean, it's been replaced with synthetic glamour in a lot of cases. End quote. Clearly, he agrees with my assessment that the other big cruises are getting cheesy and Las Vegas-y. They say these ships are meant to be all things to all people. Some areas will be calm, while others will be extremely crazy. They talk a lot about disruptive, and that is a new buzzword when it comes to innovation and technology today. How can I use technology to disrupt a mature industry? Well, it looks like the aim of Virgin is to give you a roller coaster ride of emotion during your seven day cruise. And I'm really curious to see how they're going to accomplish this. Now, we didn't get much about the food and restaurants, but we did learn the ships will offer a test kitchen, encouraging diners to think about their food from a new perspective. The restaurant is made to look like a laboratory. The entryway features lighting fixtures that mimic the periodic table to get people into the mood of the laboratory-like environment, with design elements that include metallic furniture, beakers, and test tubes. That's all nice, but I'm more interested in seeing what the menu looks like. The only other restaurant we heard about was an upscale Mexican restaurant, Pink Agave, which will have a bar in the foyer and a private dining room for large groups. So that wraps up what we found out from the reveal on May 16th. They are teasing another reveal in New York City sometime in the future, where I'm sure we'll see more renderings and get more details about the ship possibly even ship name and uh, some details on the other two ships though we're led to assume at this point that all three ships uh, debuting soon will be exactly the same so we look forward to that and we'll do another video once we find out more about for, uh, virgin voyages as well as what the actual sailing dates and locations will be and how you can book your first uh, cruise on Virgin Voyages because we'll be looking forward to booking our first cruise on Virgin Voyages and you can rest assured that uh, once we do get on the ship uh, whenever that will be in 2020 we'll try and do a full ship review and uh, definitely excited to be a part of this so thank you for taking the time to check out our video and please subscribe for more videos and updates